Well, hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Take 5. We're dealing with a message that I preach Sunday <coughs> simply entitled Strongholds. We're pulling that text from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 5, and, and we're trying to understand uh, what we've got to do to pull these strongholds down in our life, how they ended up there, and is there a, a way for us to be truly free from the domination of sin in our life as a believer? And the answer is absolutely yes. The Bible promised that, but we've got to do it God's way. And God's way of doing it is dealing with our sin nature, transforming and renewing our mind by the Word of God. Every, every thought that comes from that sin nature, whether it be one of, of sin and temptation or if it's one that's just of, uh, you know, our lower nature, you, you know, negativity, depression, doubt, things like that nature, anxiety, worry, Whatever the case may be, we've got the responsibility to renew it by the word of God. And if we don't, the more those thoughts come, the more the devil will use them to build them into strongholds in our life. And that stronghold is there to impair the life of a believer and everything he would do for Jesus Christ. So let me read 2 Corinthians real quick. Though we live in the world, we don't wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, the weapons we have <coughs> will demolish strongholds and tear them down. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought into the obedience of Christ. So this passage lets us know that most strongholds are built on the basis of thought and argument and reasoning that comes from the sin nature. These strongholds are built one, built one thought at a time, one temptation after another, and it happens when we refuse to do our part in renewing our mind by the Word of God and yielding to the Holy Spirit. And let me tell you something, friend. You have to do this every day of your life. You, you don't get to take vacation from this. Now, we've used the word stronghold a lot, so <coughs> let's define it if we can, okay? Here's what it means. It's a sinful or worldly habit or emotion and mindset that fortifies itself like a castle wall to hinder the forward progress and ultimately control the outcome of believers in Jesus Christ. So <clears throat> all of those things that come from the sin nature, all of the mindsets, the thoughts, the worldly habits and, and, and emotions and all of those things that we have, they fortify themselves like building a brick wall, one brick at a time, one thought at a time. They fortify themselves and ultimately they want to control the outcome of the believer. Uh, the second part of that definition gets real for some of us, maybe too real for some of us, and that's this. A stronghold is the place where Satan is allowed to control, it is sin's headquarters in the believer's life. Now, I told you that was going to be kind of hard. That's, that's tough for some of us to think, well, that Satan doesn't live in me. Well, you're right. You're absolutely right. If you're born again, the Spirit of God lives in you, and Satan or any demon can dwell in you. That's absolutely correct. But it's the part of our life that we give him control over. Remember Eve and, and, and Adam? <coughs> Remember what they did? Uh, Satan didn't take control of the garden and of this world. They, they gave it to him because they refused to cast down the things that he was saying to them, the things that they, he was speaking to them. They refused to cast it down. They refused to hold God to his word and trust God's word. And because of that, they willfully gave over control to Satan. So that's what it is. It is the place in your life, in your calling, in your career, in your purpose, in your marriage, it's that place where <laughs> Satan is allowed to control. It's the headquarters of sin in the believer's life. Now, I've heard many people talk about strongholds and present them as an idea that the believer is actually in some kind of prison uh, to, uh, <coughs> you know, a tormenting or offensive spirit of, of sorts. Now, that's, that's right and wrong, okay? Uh, but the believer is actually not in a prison the definition of stronghold that Paul's referring to here takes us back into the Old Testament where we see an enemy would come inside the territory of God's people and build a stronghold there 
And, and from that area, they would poison the whole area of God's people. They would never be at rest because there was an area that actually belonged to the people of God that they had allowed an enemy to remain in. And that became a stronghold and that became a thorn in the side of God's people when this would happen. And so that's the, the same thing. Strongholds do inhibit ministry and, and maturity of believers, but the idea of a believer being in prison, that's not what he's referring to. It's the place where an enemy has been allowed to come in and fortify an area in your life <coughs> which he intends to control. Now understand something. Satan has no right to any part of a believer's life except that that we give him. That's it. He can't take anything. He can't uh, come in and run roughshod over us and remove these things from us. He can't do that. The, the areas that he has control of are areas that we have given him because we didn't renew it or transform it by the word of God and the Holy Spirit. Every thought or reasoning or argument of the flesh that we refuse to transform and renew by the word and the spirit becomes building blocks for Satan's stronghold. And the more building blocks we give him, the bigger he will make those things. And, and if he can, he'll build multiple strongholds in a believer's life. All he is intending to do with all of this is to take over as much of your life as possible. And so that's why this is so important that we stay on top of this each and every day of our life. We've got to be in the word. We've, we've got to be in relationship with the Holy Spirit so that we can hear him and know his voice and obey what he says. We've got to constantly be renewing and transforming our mind uh, with the word of God so that we take on the divine nature and think like Christ and think the thoughts of the spirit instead of constantly dwelling on the arguments and the reasonings, the thoughts and the emotions of our sin nature that come through the flesh. What do you say, friend? Let's decide today that we're going to tear down every stronghold. We've been given the authority to do it in the name of Jesus, the word of God, and the person of the Holy Spirit. What do you say? Let's tear down every stronghold in our life and don't let the devil have one thing in our life, our purpose, our calling, our career, or anything else that belongs to God. Let's hold it all for him and keep the enemy out so that we can fulfill the purpose of God. Hey, I've got to get out of here. It's been good being with you today. I look forward to being with you tomorrow on Thursday's edition of Take 5. Till then, God bless you. Have a great day. Hey, trust the Lord, friend. He will never fail you.